Babies, brakes and bikes, not a boat in sight. With Impavidus on her winter mooring and David looking after Oscar with Caroline on their boat, it was time for us to fly back to the UK and see that grandson we've never seen. Now I don't fly particularly well, but hey, I've got a window seat. And as we took off, I was able to see some of the seas that we'd been sailing just a few months before. After climbing out over the sea, we turned back over the island of Sicily, and it was then that we could see this, Mount Etna, Sicily's active volcano. We actually flew right past it. You can see it has a continuous plume of smoke drifting out towards the mainland. Really quite pretty. The flight was only three and a half hours, but the total journey took us about 14. But waiting for us at the other end, and his grandma. Meet Huxley, our youngest grandson. Not wanting to pay the extortionate prices for hire cars in the UK, we borrowed my daughter's Land Rover. But first I had to sort out the seized clutch, the handbrake seized on, the brakes locked up and of course it was covered in green stuff. And then there was the engine bay that needed sorting. I got it done and straight away down to my favourite shop, Marine Superstore at Portsmouth. Bought loads of bits and pieces that were just so expensive and hard to get hold of in Sicily. Now you know us, we don't plug people unless we get good service. We've always had good service from the Marine Superstore, so here's a plug. They do mail order from their website too. I then had to check all the pieces that we'd sent off for a mail order. I was quite happy with the quality of the stuff that we'd got. As I said in the last video, all the parts were genuine. Really happy. We saved ourselves a fortune. So a few bits that we bought, new fair leads. These are going to go at the front of the boat for... Our anchor snubber. So the fair leads we've got are too far back. Ta da! Starbright boat wash. This stuff's really good, or we found it really good. It cleans and shampoos. Any shampoo a boat? And we needed a new set of these. This is for pulling the engine up onto our engine bracket, and of course. A new red ensign and no this one is red not pink we have to have a new one of these every season and we did actually buy one that was stitched here but when we opened it up at home it was stitched one side and not stitched the other which made it an ensign one side and something else the other side wasn't a union flag and of course this which is going to feature in an episode next season when we're fitting something very special hmm what could that be okay not going to leave you in suspenders well i am here's a quick teaser now we've been staying with our good friends anna and john john's got a lovely bike 
unfortunately his carburetor well it was toast so he managed to get hold of a good second hand one and we rebuilt it and got the bike running again John's a really accomplished musician he plays loads of instruments you'll have heard some of his blues music on our previous videos he managed to entertain Huxley for quite a while OK, it's a really short video this week and I'm sorry there's no sailing, but we haven't been sailing. But we thought we'd leave you with this. This is what it says on Huxley's bedroom wall. So for those of you that want to sail, as we've always said, have courage, do it now. Lose sight of the shore. Sail safe.